Okay, so what is algebra? Well, that's what I hope to answer in this video, and I hope to do it in about 10 minutes. Now, of course, can I teach you in a, uh, you know, entire algebra curriculum, an entire algebra course in 10 minutes? Well, no, but I think I could give you two powerful ideas that will really kind of give you a, a sense, a solid understanding of what algebra is all about. But uh, before I share uh, my ideas, I want to ask you, what do you think about when you think of algebra? What do you think it is? Now, a lot of students are intimidated by algebra because it uses all these crazy symbols and whatnot. But after watching this video, you'll feel much more relaxed about algebra. But uh, put your feedback about uh, that question, what is algebra, into the comment section. Uh, but before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. It really is my true passion to try to make learning math as easy as possible. So if you need assistance in mathematics, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description of this video. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into it. Now, uh, hopefully this video uh, is about 10 minutes, but if I go a little bit over, a little bit under, it's all for the, uh, you know, uh, the cause of teaching you or giving you a solid introduction about algebra. All right, so let's just kind of compare uh, the math that people take before algebra, okay? So what we study, all of us have, of course, or unless you're actually still in school, is elementary and middle school level math. I'll just classify that as basic math, right? So things like two plus three is equal to five. This is a uh, basic math. Another kind of way we can describe this is arithmetic, right? So basic math is, um, it's basic in a sense that we're just using numbers, okay? So two and three and five, we're using numbers to do mathematics. But uh, when you uh, finish with basic math and you start progressing into more advanced math, you know, typically like in middle school, certainly in high school, you get into algebra. So this is an example of algebra. And if we just look here, what's the difference? Well, algebra, we use these symbols, right? We have letters and these letters and uh, other type of symbols are called variables. So this is just a quick kind of comparison of what algebra is and how it, it's uh, different from basic math. But here's the thing, okay? Uh, these symbols, these um, things, uh, these uh, uh, letters right here, X, Y, Z, these represent numbers, okay? So here, for example, I have two, that's one number, three is a different number than two, okay? And five, of course, is a different number from these numbers. So these letters right here are called variables. They just represent numbers, okay? So in algebra, we use uh, variables, symbols, oftentimes letters, to simply represent numbers. So this situation right here, 2 plus 3 is equal to 5, could be represented this way, where we have one number <clears throat> uh, plus another number is equal to yet another number. Okay. So the first main idea about algebra is that it uses variables okay, to represent numbers. Now, what are variables? Again, these are things that uh, you would see in algebra, X, Y, Z. These are common. Uh, it's very common to use lowercase letters like A, B, uh, C, but you can use other type of uh, symbols as well, all kinds of crazy stuff uh, like this or like this. Uh, there's all sorts of symbols that uh, can represent a number, but th those are called variables, right? So any symbol, oftentimes uh, letters and lowercase letters, that represents a number is called a variable. And in algebra, we use variables, right? So that's the main, uh, first main idea. And that's, you know, probably the biggest, you know, most obvious difference from basic math, right? In basic math, we use numbers to represent numbers. In algebra, we use variables to represent numbers. Now let's kind of learn a little bit about the language of algebra. So uh, let's take a look at a few different ways we do various operations in algebra. Now, of course, uh, in basic math, if I go 2 plus 3, well, I would figure this out, and of course, that would be 5. But what happens if I go x plus x? So I have two numbers, or two variables, x plus x, that these variables represent numbers. So in algebra, if I wanted to um, combine these 
variables, x plus x, that would be equal to 2x, okay? And what we're actually doing here, there are numbers in front of these variables, they're called coefficients, and we just are simply adding these up. And, you know, I'm kind of really skimming over a lot of things about algebra, but just giving you some basic introductory uh, concepts here. All right, so x plus x is 2x. How about 5x minus 2x? Well, if I have 5x's here, and I take away two x's here, I'm left with three x's. So you can see the language of uh, algebra is not that difficult. Now here's a kind of a cool one. How about four times x? Now, if you notice here, this multiplication operator looks uh, for, um, it's pretty common, like four times two in arithmetic multiplication. We use this little x here. We don't use that in algebra, okay? Sometimes we use this little, uh, little multiplication uh, dot like so. But in algebra, if we want to express multiplication of two things, uh, like a number and a variable, we don't go four times x, we just simply write four x. Okay, so if we see this, or something like this, a number in front of a variable, this would mean, this means four times x. Okay, and let's take another, uh, look at another example. How about x, y? What do you think that means? Well, these two things are together. This means x times y. Okay, so just a quick introduction to the language of algebra. And then here we have 8 divided by x. We can simply express that as a fraction, 8 divided by x. Okay, so uh, again, just keep in mind that these variables are nothing more than numbers. Okay, so the rules of algebra are effectively the same rules of arithmetic. That's why it's so important to master basic math uh, before you get into algebra. All right, so we're going to be talking about the second main idea here in just one second. But before we do, if you have yet, uh, not yet subscribed, and first of all, if you have subscribed, thank you so much. Really appreciate it. It really helps me out. And for those of you that have not subscribed and you're thinking, yeah, maybe this content's pretty good, you know, it does me a huge favor uh, in terms of the growth of my YouTube channel. And I really am trying to reach as many students as or people who want to learn math as possibly as I can. So if you do subscribe, make sure you hit that notification button so you can get my latest videos. All right, so back to algebra. All right, now you may not have realized it, but you were doing algebra way back in the first grade, second grade, when you were doing problems like this. So if you think back to your elementary school days, you would see a problem like this. It would be like a box or a circle or a line. And your teacher is, you know, kind of saying, okay, figure out what number you have to put into this box to make this statement true. And then you would be there, you would be to really concentrating and be like, okay, uh, let me see here. One, and no, one plus two is three, not two. Two plus two is four. Oh, three. Three plus two is five. And you put a three in there, then your teacher would give you a bunch of stars and you would be so happy and you would be like so excited about math. Okay, and then you get into algebra, and then a lot of students just don't like this stuff anymore. They're like, ah, you know, math was so much, you know, more fun when it was nice and easy like this. But in fact, this right here, this problem is uh, uh, algebra. Okay, this is an algebraic equation. So you were doing algebra way back in the first grade, second grade. You didn't even realize it. Now, why am I stating that? Well, this box right here is a symbol that represents a number, okay? So in algebra, we don't use a box. It's uh, more common to use a variable like x, okay? So here, a box plus two is equal to five. Of course, we know the objective is to figure out what number we plug into the box and make this true. Well, in algebra, we have these things called equations, okay? So it's basically the same kind of game or the same kind of question, like, hey, there's a mystery number, but instead of using this box, we're going to use a uh, variable like x, okay? But it still represents a number just like this box represents a number. So it's like, okay, we have some number, okay, we'll represent, we'll represent that number by this variable x, plus two is equal to five. Now, of course, we can see here that the answer is gonna be three, but in algebra, what you uh, learn how to do is you learn how to solve equations step by step, and there's all different sorts of uh, equations. And uh, in algebra, we have this thing called, um, I like to call it the golden rule of algebra, which is whatever you do to one side of an equation, as long as you do it to uh, the other side of an equation, 
you are perfectly fine. So the objective is to figure out what x is or what x is equal to. Okay. So here I have x plus 2 is equal to 5. I don't want that x. I don't want x plus 2. I want x by itself. So what I can do is subtract a 2 away from this 2 right here. So I have a positive 2. If I take away a 2, that's 0. But whatever I do to this side of the equation, I have to do the exact same thing on the other side. So in algebra, you learn kind of formal steps to solve equations. And then here, we just add down in the column manner, x plus nothing is x, okay, or x plus 0 is x, and then positive 2 uh, minus 2, or 2 minus 2 is 0. We don't need to write that. And then 5 minus 2 is 3. So these, uh, this is like the procedure we use to solve equations. There's all sorts of equations, uh, and this will um, kind of bring me to my second main idea about algebra, and that is algebra is a math that solves equations, all sorts of equations, linear equations, systems of equations, quadratic equations, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So a huge part of algebra, okay, whether it's pre-algebra, algebra one, algebra two, college algebra, doesn't make a difference, is solving various type of equations. Now there are other things about algebra that I didn't, um, you know, discuss, but these main ideas, okay, hey, algebra uses variables and algebra solves, you know, is a tool that solves all sorts of different types of equations. If you understand that, then that's a solid introduction to what algebra is about. Now, if you plan on taking algebra, or if you're taking algebra now, um, I'll leave links to my uh, various math courses to include pre-algebra, algebra 1, algebra 2, etc. in uh, the description. But I have a ton of videos on my YouTube channel about algebra, uh, basic stuff to more advanced stuff. But if you are starting off in algebra, if you want to learn algebra, I definitely encourage you to do it. It's, it's such an awesome math, but just don't get intimidated by all the symbols and whatnot. Uh, as soon as you start realizing that those symbols, those variables represent numbers, then you could just be like, oh, this is no more, nothing really more than basic math. Uh, you know, these letters are nothing more than numbers. Okay, so just keep that in mind and everything will work out just fine. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.